Hello, welcome to a mug full of wine and my weekly grocery haul. We did things a little bit different today. I usually do my grocery shopping on Monday afternoons after homeschool. But this week, the hubby is going to be out of town on business for four days. So we went today on Saturday, which was a shame because it's absolutely beautiful outside. But at least we've got it done. We don't have to worry about it until next week. And I haven't done my planner yet, so I will share on my monthly grocery list. These are because of the changes, the meals that we had. Weren't really meals that I would make without my husband being here. So for Monday night, we're going to order Jimmy John's, and we have some noodles that Mackenzie's going to make. Tuesday, we're having chicken and poutine, or poutine, and um, I don't know if you know what poutine or poutine is, but it's a Canadian thing. It's french fries with gravy and cheese curds. That's mostly for my son. I'm just going to make a half order, and or a half recipe, and then the other half of the fries, I'm going to make ranch fries, which is just basically french fries with... Um, sharp cheddar cheese and bacon and then you dip them in ranch dressing. On Wednesday we're going to have fun foods. Again, this isn't something my husband digs. It's not that he doesn't dig it, it's just that we dig it more, but it's just basically chips and dip and I'm going to make some bean quesadillas and um, some hummus with carrots and since that's Wednesday and it's home, it's um, home ec day and homeschool Piper is going to make some brownies. On Thursday, we're going to have a chef salad. On Friday, we're going to have a rice bowl with egg. Saturday, we go out, and Sunday, we will grill. And here is the haul. We have a haul from Walmart, a haul from Trader Joe's, and a pretty much non-grocery haul from Target. I picked up some Swiss cheese and two things of sharp cheddar. A half gallon of milk, that's all we need this week. Two yogurts. I found this strawberry mango. I'm going to try that. It's not the whipped. I can't do the whipped anymore. I gag the entire time I'm eating it. Some mozzarella. Some French onion dip. Sharp cheddar cheese. I They had my Dunkin' Donuts chocolate creamer again. This stuff is fantastic. Mackenzie's vanilla macchiato. Some sour cream. Some hummus. I got some black forest ham and some oven roasted turkey. That's for our chef salad. I rather buy deli from the deli, but chef salad night is Thursday, and I don't want the deli meat sitting in my refrigerator for five days. Ugh. So I just picked it up like that. The hubby picked up what? You actually grabbed something with a Cubs icon on it? I can't even believe this. He's a Sox fan. I'm a Cubs fan. Almost didn't marry him because he's a Sox fan and I'm a Cubs fan. Right, honey? <laughs> he knows I'm joking. Picked up some Wrigley Field Smokies. I can't wait to try those. Look how thick they are. That's right. Um, we also picked up some andouille sausage. We're grilling tomorrow, and I had everything except for the buns for dinner tomorrow night, but we saw this, and when we grill, we like to grill big and then have leftovers for lunch for the next couple days. Two heads of lettuce some bacon, some liver sausage. I've been craving liver sausage. Some fries. Some honey barbecue chicken strips. These will be for our dinner tomorrow night. Some crispy trick or not tomorrow night, Tuesday. Crispy chicken strips. Some white rice. The rice bowls I'm making call for brown rice. I don't care for brown rice, so I'm going to have white rice. Um, I We got these cherries mixed fruit for one of the nights. We picked up some polenta. I haven't had polenta in a really long time. My husband has a way of cooking this up that's fantastic. Cannellini. Well, how do you say it? Cannell, cannellini. Cannellini beans. And some reduced sir, sodium garbanzo. I have been um, taking garbanzo beans, throwing them on a cookie tray that's been sprayed with Pam and baking them for 22 minutes at 350 degrees. And when they come out, I season them. I've done Indian flavors, I've done Moroccan flavors, and I have done Mexican flavors or Spanish flavors. And um, the family eats them as a snack, and they're fantastic. So I got some low sodium because I think they're kind of salty, and I'm not supposed to have sodium. 
So I picked up low sodium and then these, we're going to try it with these too. Maybe do a Cajun with these. Grab some kimchi for the hubby. He loves that kind of stuff. And some gravy for the Putin. Tomorrow the Blackhawks are playing in the afternoon at lunchtime, so I grabbed some frozen pizzas. We got a margarita, California Pizza Kitchen. These Screaming Sicilians are amazing. Um, so we picked up one of those. And a just plain old crust of cheese pizza for the kids and I. Grab a couple of TV dinners as the kids probably won't eat the rice and egg bowls. Perfect. Um, this, I bet this one's for Logan, right? The pizza mm -hmm. is for Logan and the chicken is for Piper. I also grabbed some teriyaki chicken frozen meals for pie. Sweet tea as I'm almost out. We got Logan some frosted flakes. How's the new bike? Awesome. We also bought the kids new bikes today. They're awesome. And they're awesome. Did you go for a bike ride? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Grabbed some, excuse Logan's head, breakfast bars for Piper. Two kinds of cookies, chunky and classic. We got some couscous, some garlic, creamy garlic and shells, two of those, a dozen eggs, some Suzy Q's. I have been on the search for Suzy Q's for probably three years, and it says Scott's been craving them. And I'm going to cross out Scott and write Annie because I have been craving Suzy Q's for so long. This used to be my favorite snack as a kid. In the freezer, I used to cut them in half, put them in wax paper, and throw them in the freezer when I was in high school. And I would eat half of one when I got home from school, and I love them. Oh, they're so good. Can't wait. Some brownie mix and some sugar. Over here, we have a new computer chair. Um, yesterday was our big garbage day in our town where... They take anything you put at the curb, except a tire, apparently, because they didn't take our tire. One of our computer chairs was just falling apart. I think I had it when I was in my first marriage, which I've been married to my current husband for 12 years, together two years before that, single for three years for before that. So that chair had to have been 19 years old, I would say. And it finally just broke, so we replaced it. We got some white cheddar popcorn, some original potato chips, a loaf of white bread, some tortillas, some hot dog buns, two hamburger buns. And for our non-grocery items, we picked up these little 80 cent cake things. This is what I'll make the french fries in. Excuse me, some paper towels, some two new pillowcases, and these bungee cords. Our patio furniture broke, the like cloth seat thing where you put the cushions broke so I saw on Pinterest that somebody said to bungee cord it and then you can put your cushions right on top of that so that is what we're going to try and that is our haul from Walmart um, I will put this stuff away and grab the Trader Joe's and Target haul and I will be back and for my Trader Joe's haul we picked up some green onions two avocados a yellow onion, one beef steak tomato. That's going to go on our hamburgers tomorrow night. I also grabbed some naan. It's frozen. The only thing about this is that you have to heat the oven to 400 and it only bakes for one and a half minutes. And that seems kind of crazy to heat up the oven for at 400 degrees. I don't usually turn on my oven once it gets above 75 degrees. Because I don't have any cross ventilation and it's really hot in my house all the time. Toaster oven! Toaster oven! <laughs> oh, I do have a toaster oven. Hubby says to grab the toaster oven, so we'll see. I just picked those up because um, Wolf I've been craving naan, but I, I've been craving Indian food. I've just not been craving how it makes me feel afterwards. So maybe I'll just have some naan and it'll make me feel better. I got some carrots that are those little baby carrots. My favorite uh, pumpernickel pretzel sticks and some refried beans. Again, I say it every time I buy them. Trader Joe's has the best refried beans and they're clean. The ingredients are clean and it's they're just absolutely fantastic. And the kids each wanted a butter chicken for lunch this week. Um, we picked these up last week too and it's so funny because they love, love, love butter chicken. 
And these are pretty spicy. My Piper doesn't think they're spicy, but Logan, who is 11, does. So he'll take a bite, and then he'll take a drink. And then he'll take a bite, and he'll take a drink. But they love them. So that was the Trader Joe's haul. And our Walmart haul, Mackenzie grabbed these gluten-free pretzel sticks. They are, these are spicy. Target. You see Walmart? Oh, I'm sorry. This is Target. I already did Walmart. This is Target haul. Mackenzie picked up some gluten-free pretzels, but they're spicy, but she loves them. We also grabbed this for her. I, it looks like makeup. Yep, could be makeup. She got this in the dollar section. Oh, but it was $3. She also picked up a bikini top as she gets to go on town in a couple of weeks. They had their boys' shorts for 20% off, so we picked Logan up three pairs of boys' shorts. They were originally $7.99 with 20% off, which is quite the steal. And they had little girl shorts for 20% off. This one pair is $7.99. And then these little ones were only $6. So we picked up Piper three pairs of shorts. As I said, it's beautiful. The weather is changing in Illinois, which doesn't mean anything. It could snow in a week. But um, they definitely need shorts. And I'm not a big person on using uh, like canned or packaged flavors. But this stuff from Frontera Grill, which is Rick Bayless, this... These are really great, and I think we tried this, but I'm not positive, so I picked it up. Maybe we'll eat it. And two pillows. A couple of weeks ago, we picked up a couple pillows for the hubby, and he said they're fantastic, so Piper and I each got a pillow. And that is our haul from Walmart, Trader Joe's, and um, Target. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please push that red button. If you have subscribed, thanks for coming back, and I will see you next Wednesday with our next haul.